Hey, Fort Leonard Wood family and those abroad, those maybe tuning in from afar, wherever you may be. My name is uh, Chaplain Matt Burden. I'm here with my good friend and colleague in worship, uh, Lisa Bennett, part of Crew Military Ministry. And we are bringing to you uh, through an audio recording, something kind of a little bit different, but an audio recording of, of some encouragement during this period of the COVID, COVID pandemic. And so what we're going to do is we're going to bring about a few songs forward, and I encourage you, and then we're going to have a couple chaplains also get a chance to share a few things, and it'll all be in an audio recording for you. So my encouragement is maybe that you might just take this, and it might just be something that stems your worship in this period, this time of uncertainty. Maybe it's during a workout, maybe it's during a prayer walk, maybe it's you're just driving down the road and you just want to tune in. Uh, so I want to encourage you to utilize this however it best fits you. But I want to encourage you this morning, and Lisa and I are this, this day, rather, and we're going to read from Psalm 27. And here's what it says, just a great encouraging uh, passage during this period of this COVID pandemic. And it says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. So why should I be afraid? The Lord is my fortress, protecting me from danger. Certainly there's a lot of danger that we're facing today, dangers that we can't even see. And yet God is calling us out of this dark mire to continue to walk with him. And he says, so why should I tremble? Verse two, when evil people come and they devour me, when my enemies and foes attack me, they will stumble and fall. Though a mighty army surrounds me, sometimes many of us feel like a mighty army is surrounding us um, for whatever reason, whatever you may be going through, maybe you feel like that army is against you. But he says, my heart will not be afraid. My heart will not be afraid. Even if I am attacked, I will remain confident, confident in God, confident in his provision, confident in his protection, confident in his hope, the hope of glory, the hope of tomorrow, the hope of eternity. There's so much to be confident in. And the one thing I ask, verse 4, the one thing I ask of the Lord, the thing I seek most, is to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, delighting in the Lord's perfections and meditating in his temple. Just a posture of worship, whatever that posture of worship is for you, go there, find that during this recording period. For he will conceal me there where troubles come. He will hide me in the sanctuary. He will place me out of reach on a high rock. And then I will hold my head high above my enemies who surround me. At his sanctuary, I will offer sacrifices. Again, worship. Sacrifices and shouts for joy. Singing and praising the Lord with music. And that's what we're going to do here today. Hear me as I pray, O Lord. Be merciful and answer me. My heart has heard you say, come and talk with me. And my heart responds, Lord, I am coming. Are you delighting in the Lord? Use this time to just meditate on the words. Pour out your heart to the Lord. Fall in love with him again. So in need, you break our chains. It sounds a 
of victory You're changing everything Look at No one else can take your place Come with your way No one else can take your place Come from the space No one else can take your place Come have your way No one else can take your place Open the gate The Lord bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Sing the Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give me peace. And I
generations and your family and your children and their children and their children may his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children may his presence go before you and behind you and beside you all the rest Our world is in a precarious season, a season where most major distractions have been removed, a season where we have more questions than answers. As we traverse the minefield of COVID-19, our anxieties are running high. Don't touch, don't sneeze, don't cough, don't breathe. It seems that we are walking in the dark and as soon as a beam of hope shines through, we think we have a grasp on things. The dark clouds of uncertainty come rolling in, and in a split second, things change. How do we endure and even find joy in these uncertain times? Well, David gives us the answer to this question in the 23rd Psalm. In the first three verses, David recounts his fellowship with God, the good shepherd on the top of the mountain. And in the next two verses, he immediately goes from the top of the mountain to the bottom of the valley. And isn't that like life? One moment you're on top of the world, and the next moment the world is on top of you. David says, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. He acknowledges that he is in a depressed and dark place. Then he takes his eyes off of his circumstances and puts them on the God of his circumstances. He says, I will fear no evil because you are with me. Your rod and your staff comfort me. I'm so glad that we serve a God that does not practice social distancing. He walks in the valley with us. 
Notice the pronouns. David goes from talking about God on the top of the mountain to talking to God when he's in the valley. He says, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Beloved, did you hear that? Where is the table? Where is the anointing? Where is the cup of blessing? That's right. It is in the valley. And beloved, there is a special grace that is only found in the valley. There is a special intimacy that is only built in the valley. Let me call the role. Daniel got to know God in the lion's den. He found out that he was a lion tamer. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego found out that God was a firefighter when they were in the furnace. And Jesus, he found out that his father was a keeper when he was in the garden of Gethsemane. Yes, there is a special grace that is only found in the valley. There's not only a special grace that is only found in the valley. There is also a special intimacy that is only built in the valley. And there is another level of faith that can only be acquired in the valley. Oftentimes, the valley is a proving ground on which God strengthens and shapes our faith for the next level. And my brothers and my sisters, as you're listening to this message, I want to encourage you today. I want to encourage you to be like David and embrace your valley. Build a new level of intimacy, a new level of faith, so that God can take you and your family to a new level in him.
See you to be 
your glory shine brown God I will seek you here and now your presence coming in a cloud my desire my desire
maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in my darkness, my God, that is who you are, that is who you are.
Soon on his way 